to a big I-team investigation. Live electrical wires exposed for weeks left behind by contractors for the city of Milwaukee. But as the I-team's Jermont Terry discovered, an attempt to clean up one neighborhood actually placed residents in even greater danger. The city condemned and tore down 12 garages last month. The contractor that was hired failed to complete the job properly, leaving a potentially deadly hazard behind. Brenda Harmon was first mad the city condemned her garage near 40th and North. But when the workers finished, take a look at what they left behind. Electrical wires sticking out of the ground. I thought, well, they're going to come back and do this. They're not done. The work was finished on December 17th. Since then, Harmon called neighborhood services repeatedly, but the danger remained. I've been taking this and I've been putting buckets over there and putting bricks on it so that it won't be exposed and so that kids won't actually come and touch that. The I-team spotted children playing nearby this problem. And this is exactly 120 volts here. 120 volts is what certified electrician Ken Kemp with KWK Electric determined was coming from the wires. He says a single touch at that voltage could kill. If somebody got hurt, boy, how would anyone sleep at night? So he capped and taped off the wires, a temporary fix. But why did it take so long for the city to come out and take a look? It took a visit from the I-team to neighborhood services to get them to come out the next day. It never should have been left like that. After finally coming to the property, the city admits this was a bad job and should have taken Harmon's complaints more seriously. Yeah, I took for responsibility. I should have come out before my Christmas vacation and verified that everything that she said had been addressed properly. They called an electrician out the same day to cut the line, leaving Harmon finally pleased. The I team gets results. Oh man, I am so in appreciation. The contractor, WasteCap, tore down 11 other garages. In light of the I-Team's report, the city plans to go back and check each site to make sure no other live wires are exposed. Jermont Terry, today's TMJ4. Thank goodness for those results. Some child could have been killed. Yeah, Miss Harmon Horrible. deserves a lot of credit. She and the I-Team getting the job done as well. well